Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time, uh, what happened, Ter uh, Terra looked like an esper and flew off somewhere. So it's our job as friends, quote-unquote, to go find her. So we got Celeste leading the party, and the Locke hanging out, and then we got S Saban, and then Cyan. So, I also was thinking about this for a, a split minute, because I just, like, between recordings, it's like about 30 seconds or something. <laughs> Um, the reason I chose this team is because Saban learns stuff that from leveling up, he learns more Blitz, and, Sa and Cyan, the same thing. So I feel like this is a good team if you just want to be, like, kind of over-prepared for the next bit of the game. But, yeah, as I said, you can play the game as much as, uh, like, you can build your own team as much as you want. I just go with the personal... So I believe we go to Figaro Castle and then we start doing investigations. And unless I'm wrong, then oh freaking well. And plus it'd be nice to stop by the old ladies and tell her that Saban's doing well because Saban's in the party. I think you're the I think the real goal of this is actually go to South Figaro, but. Let's see what comes up, because I don't remember. <laughs> Figaro Castle. You know, one of the weirdest music in the game. I like it. Uh, this is just like old times. I wander around for a while. Oh, Phoenix down! I knew that was your own take it. For those who don't know, I actually do like Final Fantasy VI a lot, and I don't really have a whole lot more to say right now, just because... Eh... Basically, I'm... I... For those who don't know, I, I posted this on Twitter, I do recording sessions entirely, so... I do one entire recording session to fill you guys for the entire week, one up, one upload per day. And I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of sucking because I don't have a lot to talk about or history with this game. So I was hoping to have a guest commentator, but you know they're not here, obviously, because guest commentators, you know, people have to leave a lot, live their lives, leave their lives. Oh my god, I can talk. How about you rest? I don't want to rest. I want to actually. I guess there's a cutscene that triggers here anyway, so let's rest. If that's a free in, who can say no? Will you let us pass? Of course you won't! God damn it. Fine game. That's dangerous. Hey, I wanna go down. So we probably just have to go straight out of the South Figaro. I'm just being dumb. Okay, Saban. Hey, I'm going too. Okay, Saban. Do you want to ruin your family get together kind of thing? So yeah, for the next little bit of the game, we're gonna be kind of wandering around because, <laughs> as I said, I don't want to look up a walkthrough, but I do want to look up a walkthrough for one particular reason. And then it's going to be probably me messing around, trying to remember where to go. Because I haven't played this game in 
Ooh, okay. way a long time, actually. I think the first time I ever got to the end of the game, that was when I was 15, I want to say. I'm 21 now. So, 15, oh my god. That was six years ago. I don't know why I couldn't just do uh, 20 subtracted by 5 and then plus 1. But that's my problem. Yeah, that would actually make it a lot easier than that would have just had 6. Yeah, I can math. But yeah, th this particular game is going to be me wandering around. I like 6, as I said, but I haven't played to the end of it in a very long time. And then I have to record Final Fantasy V and then start doing stuff with like that again. But that's later, and this is now. And people are going to say like, oh, what happens in the Tales Love series? Are you supposed to record those? I am supposed to record those, but that particular I'm expecting a guest commentator with, and they said they're, they're all on board with that, so I'm just trying to get them into a Skype call or something. Oh, jeez. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking in the back streets? Oh, God. Why did I start singing All Stars? Talking about All Stars, this has nothing to do with it, but, um, Jet Set Radio Future or Jet Set Radio is coming back to the PS4, so I'm gonna play that for you guys eventually. That'd be fun. I don't really know what else to say, because I've just been drawing a blank for a bit. Because, like, gra grind grinded. Granted, I am doing the recording session for this week, and then I'm doing a stream later tonight, so I'm kind of just like, <laughs> what should I talk about in stream? Kind of got nothing to talk about, really. But yeah, for those who don't know, I stream on Twitch. It's uh, JX Mickey like it is here on YouTube. So for those who aren't a fan of me on YouTube or a fan of me on Twitch, go, go or if you're a fan of me on YouTube and want to check me out on Twitch, I stream at five o'clock every, well not every day. I tweet about the days I don't uh, stream, and sometimes it is a little sporadic just because I am right now for my job. Um, it's usually five o'clock PST, PST, yeah, Eastern. Cause I'm in the Eastern Coast more than anything else. Hello, South Figaro. We're not supposed to be here, are we? I don't know fully where I'm going, then. Uh-oh. But yeah, um... Streams are fun. They go for like about four hours. Got really nothing else to talk about. I feel like we should be in, in Figaro Castle, because I swear I remember Figaro's Castle is important. Because if we go down the water raft, we're going to be going places that will lead us back to, like, it's only a circuit, basically. Oh, God. Let's rest up here, I guess. There's gonna be a lot of me goofing around just because I don't know what I'm doing exactly. But hey, that's okay. You guys also get to see, like, the odd perspective of me playing Final Fantasy for, like, basically the first time. Granted, in Final Fantasy games, they usually have arrows and stuff telling you where to go in, in new games, but not so much in the SNES era. It was more like, okay, we're going to tell you what to do and where roughly to go. I believe we're supposed to be here. I'm going to try to infiltrate the city, but I don't know or remember how to. Oh, a tonic. Green cherry.
Yeah, I think we're on the wrong side to even infiltrate the city again. Okay. Let me just stop here for a second to think about something. Okay. Yeah, because if we go there, that takes us to the mountain. The mountain will take us to the water flow, and the water flow will take us to a loop around back to the Negrata or whatever it is. So I think the best course of action is to go back to South Figaro, or Figaro Castle. So, anyways, how have you guys been doing? Because I've been doing just fine. Okay. Oh, jeez. I also wish I could do this off camera, but, you know, me messing around kind of just shows that, you know, sometimes I don't remember, sometimes I don't think about certain things. So, let's make our way back to Figaro Castle. God, there's a lot to do in this game. Come on, let's go. I gotta smack the X button in the wing, because that's really what I'm doing. Oh, look. 108, 200. Wow, we actually are a little powerful right now. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to talk to one of the guards in Figaro Castle. You know what? I feel like I should try Saban's uh, new fire dance thing. Okay, nice commands. Yeah, I can't do it just because of how the game is set up and it's weird to do a dual analog thing. I know what it is. It's uh, left, left down, down, down right, and then right. So I know the input, it's just, it doesn't always work. Gotta probably stick with my suplex thing, man. But that is, I think the cave music is the same they use in Final Fantasy V, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember too well, but I believe that to be the case. Okay, come on. You are so dead, because you don't hurt at all. 45 money. Bonafide money at this point. Actually, there's an entire... Is that blocked off by mountains? It should be. And plus, if anything, going back to Figaro would probably give us some more intel where to go. So that's always good, right? Do you see anything? Yes, it's in the desert. Oh, here we go. I was right. Let's go to Figaro. And basically, Figaro moves under the sands to bring us to a new area entirely in this continent. Okay, so it was blocked off of mountains. Okay, that's good. I thought I, I was thinking this wrong. But no, I was thinking it right. So, a new mess of trouble entirely now. Because I think this area... It has harder enemies? It should, at the very least. Because you're not supposed to know about this until much later anyways. Next step. Olashian Guardian. I can't talk. Watch a step. Thank you for the humor. Because we're in a desert, regardless. We just tunnel underground. So, I'm going to go to the first town I see, just for the sheer fact that I don't know where the hell I'm going. Okay. 
This seems to be like roughly in the same direction I think we should be going. What the hell happened here? Okay. Well, your house is like completely destroyed if you can't go into it. Oh no, lock! I wasn't able to save her when she needed me. Oh no, lock! I didn't know this, I forgot this was your area. Crap, I didn't want to show this off. Soon you'll see it. Oh no! Rachel! No! She's awake. Problem is... Yeah, amnesia. She hit her head, basically. She got a minor concussion, or not a minor, a serious concussion, basically. I think that's how most amnesia is, right? Get out of here. It's your fault that she lost her memories. Wait a minute, she said yes, we were going. Go. I don't know... I don't know who you are, but... Ever since you came here, my parents have been upset. Yep. And Locke was forgotten. Entirely. She's gonna have to make a new start from it, Locke. Yep, this is what I meant by the game got super depressing because I believe this is only part one of the story. A year passed when I returned here, I learned that Rachel had perished in the Imperial attack. Her memory returned just before she passed away. The last thing she uttered was my name. I should have never left her side. I failed her. Locke, you you couldn't have even known. Like, this is actually where, believe it or not, my little fan fiction took place, actually. It's right before Rachel's house. Basically, I had, like, I, I lost this file for the thing a super long time ago, so I don't even know how it went down. But I think it was right before this point where they go to Figaro Castle, they go submerge. And then, like, Locke is kind of, like, neglectful, like, to come here because he knows what this town is to him. And it, it's just... I made it super goddamn depressing, and I just... Ugh. Basically, that was the first story I ever had that had basically a PTSD flashback kind of thing. And, I don't know, some people would say it's good for, like, a tragic love kind of thing, but, you know, you know me. Every failed love turns into a, a, a love... Blech. a love ready to bloom so while yes it could, it could be seen as insensitive but I thought it turned out pretty well and I'm going to probably publish that to you guys online on Twitter you know little segments at a time so it's gonna make no sense to anyone who's reading on Twitter I might do it in chat who knows uh, hmm. I don't really know what I should give people. Also, I got like no money, so I don't know why I'm thinking like, I should buy this. Well, let's change up the equipment, I guess.
Yeah, it's not good. But, anyways, with learning Locke's bad, tragic memory, effectively, I feel like this is enough of the town we're going to be able to see for a fairly long while, because I don't think you ever really come back to this town. I also say that I was in part, but I saw the house, and I'm like, the house! What the piss? Uh-oh. Okay. Tragic memory for Locke, maybe. I don't remember this one too well. Oh, it's Rachel. Yep. Lock, you would have known. No one could have ever predicted or saw this coming. And of course the last is just like I I don't want Lock suffering like this. It is kind of messed up that they basically pre preserved her body, but I think the idea behind that was like if they preserve the body they could like call back the soul or something to the bot. I don't know how that worked. I truly do not. I never got this part of the story just because how I am. But yeah, this is kind of where the game starts taking a little more of a serious turn. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next part of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI.